Begin by coming into your body. Bring awareness to your body and settle into a posture that's comfortable for you. Maybe it's sitting down at a chair or on a cushion. Maybe it's lying down. In any case, whatever posture you're in, allow yourself to get comfortable. If there's any comfort available from the position that you've put your body in, notice that and really enjoy it. And having settled into a comfortable posture, scan your body for muscular tension. If you notice that there's any tension present anywhere in your body, see if you can notice that and gently invite it to relax. Perhaps there's tension in your jaw or your shoulders your arms, your legs, your feet. If you find muscular tension anywhere in your body, gently invite it to relax. Feel your body relaxing. And as you relax in your body, enjoy that relaxation. Each time your body relaxes, there's a bit of pleasure that's available in that region of the body. It might be small, but even if it's small, allow yourself to enjoy it. And having found a position of your body that's comfortable and having relaxed into that position, 
Invite a gentle, easy smile to your face. Allow your face to smile, knowing that just by changing your face physically, you'll shift towards happiness emotionally. Doesn't have to be a huge grin. A gentle, easy smile is perfect. See if you can maintain that smile for the entire practice period. If you find that it fades, you can always invite the smile to return. And you can do the same with your body, maintaining comfort in your body and relaxation in your body. This is home base, being comfortable and relaxed with a gentle, easy smile on your face. We can always return here if we need to. And in this way, we've prepared the body for metta practice. Having done that, take a moment to reflect on aspects of your life that you can feel grateful for. Think of one or many things that you can feel grateful for. These things might be big, and they might be small. They might be recent things that have happened to you, and they might be very normal, regular things that often happen to you. In any case, reflect on things that you're grateful for using your mind. Continue to reflect on one or more things that you're grateful for, for another moment.
Very good. Now bring to mind someone that's easy for you to love. Maybe it's someone in your life that's easy for you to love, like a partner or a small child or a pet. It could also be someone that's imaginary, a baby, a puppy, a kitty, a panda bear. doesn't really matter who you choose, whether they're real or imaginary. What matters is that it's relatively easy for you to feel love for this person. Consider someone real or imaginary that's easy for you to love. having selected your easy to love person, cultivate an attitude of love and care for this person. If you'd like, you can use a phrase such as, I love you, or I care about you, or may you be happy. You can use a series of phrases that resonate for you in connection with this person that you have in mind. I love you so much. I care about you and I hope you succeed in your life. Something like that. It doesn't really matter what you say, but if you choose, you can use mental talk, verbal phrases to cultivate this attitude of love for this easy to love person. Continue to say a phrase or multiple phrases directed towards this person, hearing them in your mind. I love you. May you be happy. May you have deep joy. Any phrase that you like, really. Simply use mental talk to cultivate this attitude of love for this easy to love person.
As you do this, notice how this makes your body feel. If there's any positive emotional response in your body, happiness, love, care, gratitude, anything like that, notice those responses and really enjoy them. Savor them. Soak them up, even if they're small, really enjoy it. It turns out that when you notice this kind of happiness, it grows. So notice it and enjoy it and allow it to spread and grow. Having cultivated loving kindness for this easy to love person, let's begin to cultivate the same kind of loving kindness for others. See how many people you can direct the same love towards. You might find it useful to use just one phrase, like I love you or May you be happy. See if you can direct that love using a phrase towards many different people. May you be happy. May you be happy. May you be happy. With each statement of the phrase, thinking of a new person. You can go at whatever pace feels good for you. It doesn't have to be the same speed that I just demonstrated. But see if you can spread the love, directing it towards many different people. every few seconds at a pace that feels good to you. See if you can direct this love towards someone new.
Again, as you do this, notice if there's any positive emotional response in the body. And if there is, really enjoy it. Continue to cultivate this attitude of loving kindness towards more and more people. And if you like, begin to broaden it to encompass groups of people. Groups of people. For example, all of the people in a community that you participate in all of the people at your workplace, all of the people in your family, all of the people in the country that you live in or another country. See if you can direct the same loving kindness towards groups of people. You can go at whatever pace you like and cultivate this loving kindness using whatever methods you would like. But just in general, see if you can do that in a way that encompasses more and more people, is directed towards more and more people, and is felt more and more deeply. If you'd like, you can begin to include species of plants or animals, all of the rose bushes, all of the trees, dogs, cats, elephants, panda bears, lions, don't let your love and loving kindness be limited to humans, to human beings. Allow it to overflow towards plants and animals as well. Beings of all kinds deserve love.
gradually you can spread this love to all of the beings on earth and even wider to all living beings in the whole universe, at all places, at all times, in all realms. No matter how big the universe may be, knowing that all living beings deserve the same love, the same loving kindness that you've been cultivating. See if you can broaden and expand it to all living beings. Continue to cultivate this loving kindness for another moment. Very good. Now, take a moment to look back at this practice period. What was it like for you? What happened? Did you discover anything? Did you face any challenges? Take a moment to reflect and consider what happened. And as you're ready at your own pace, you can come out of the meditation. <laughs> 